Hello there and welcome to Linux Studio and in this video I am going to continue on the themes update for the month. It's September now and uh, let's see what the Linux community has to offer us. So for this particular video I have 6 different themes for you guys and uh, these are the 3 JDK themes, 2 icon packs, 1 cursor theme and one grub portal theme so you can see we are customizing the operating system from all aspects so let's get into the themes update now so starting with the first theme we have this zdk zuno theme so this is the current look of my distribution this is how it looks like so let me just switch the themes so for that i'm going to use the tweak tool if you do not have this tool then you can install using this video so in this trick tool, I'm just going to switch to this uh, Zuno theme. So this is, uh, I have basically two variants of this theme, but it comes with three. One is Dark, Pale Knight and Mira. So let me just switch to this uh, Pale Knight version of this theme. And uh, let me just change the wallpaper so that you can see it more clearly. So as you can see this is how the themes looks like it changes the layout basically and you can see these three different icons here and uh, the design is like this so i'm just going to change to the mirage here so that you can see the difference so this is how mirage looks like it has the yellow color as its accent and let me change to the zuno mirage as gnome cell as well so just uh, Go to this tool and change to Mirage. So here it is. Now you can see the accent color is applied. It was not applied because I had not switched the cell theme in my system. So this is how it looks like the theme. So here is your top bar. This is your calendar, the weather and these are the extensions that I have in my system. And this is how it looks like. Moving on to the next we have arc dot so this is a spin-off of the arc theme i guess so let's change to this theme and for this just open up the tweak tool go to the and this is actually called arc black so just select this arc black here i'm also going to change the cell theme here so that you can see the complete picture of the theme sometimes cell theme doesn't apply so for that you have to press alt f2 hit the r hit enter again and this will restart the gnome shell you do not have to do this in other desktop environments. So let me just change the wallpaper so that you can see the theme more clearly. So this is how it looks like. It's pretty dark basically. Here are the some applications. So this theme has support for GDK, Gnome Shell, XFCE, Cinnamon and comes with two color palettes. You can get this dark theme from the link given in the description. The last theme in this section is the Sweet Amber theme and this is my favorite theme so far. So let me just switch the wallpaper so that you can get the complete picture of this theme. So let me switch to this wallpaper here and uh, let me switch the theme to Amber. So I'm going to go to the tweak tool and uh, I'm going to go to sweet amber here. So this is uh, sweet amber blue and it comes with different uh, variants of the color. So you can choose the accent color and I'm also going to change icon pack here. So I'm going to select uh, papyrus here so that uh, the accent color match with the folder colors. So here it is how it looks like. So let me change the cell theme as well. So this is the sweet amber theme and it makes your distribution look really amazing. You can see this is how it looks like. Here you can see the top bar. It has applied the accent color all over the place. So these are the themes for the ZDK. Now let's see the icon packs that I have for you guys. So I have two icon packs. So let me just show you right away. Now let me switch to a different icon pack here. And uh, the first one that I have for you guys is uh, Luna. And it comes with three different options the regular Luna, the Luna Dark, and Luna Light. I'm going to select Luna Dark here so that the icons can look properly. So you can see the icons has been changed at the bottom, and uh, the icon pack 
here applied to the folders icon as well. So the Luna icon theme has these dynamic shapes for the icons and uh, all the icons have a drop shadow which makes the icons look cool. And uh, one more thing is that this icon pack is based on Pepros icon that was applied before and Margareta. So it kind of inherits the design elements from those icon packs as well. Next icon pack we have is Flattree. So let me just switch to Flattree now. Now Flattree comes with different color combinations. You can see I have this Flattree teal and teal dark. So I'm going to switch to teal dark here. You can see the icons have changed now. I can minimize this window and I can open up the file manager again. So it comes with this uh, teal color but you can choose different colors as per your need. These are the colors that are available basically. And this is how the icons look. So they do not have any kind of drop shadow, but they are completely flat matte icons. And you can see they have this kind of accent color in all the icons. So you can see here these three colors that are kind of very bright. So these are the two icon packs that I have for you guys and now let's see the cursor theme that I think is kind of must. So again to change the cursor theme we have to go to the tweak tool. So now let's change the cursor theme. So for the cursor I'm going to switch to this Oreo and it comes with different color combinations. For example this is blue accent color based theme so I'm going to select Oreo blue cursor and as you can see the cursor has been changed to blue and it looks really good so you can change to different colors of course you get the option here this is gray this is pink and uh, this is purple and this is the teal so I'm going to switch to the blue because it matches with the theme so you can uh, get this cursor in your system as well the links will be given in the description of course so the last theme that we have is the grub theme and this is how it looks like. This is called the sleek grub bootloader theme. It's a modern looking minimal theme. It basically styles the initial bootloader screen, the grub bootloader screen and it comes with three different options. One is this light, dark and this accent orange. And you can install it very easily just download the zip file and execute the install script and it will automatically install in your system so these were the themes update for this month so you can get these themes from the article link and uh, apply it in your distribution let me know what you think about these themes in the comment section below and i shall catch you in the next video till then take care and keep enjoying linux